Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So, I got a request to actually go ahead and explain the differences between, you know, using the quad remesh and also using the box cell. Now, there's certain things I need to specify before we get into talking about this. First things is, this kind of remesh is coming to Blender 2.81, which simply means that if you use the previous version of Blender, you probably wouldn't get it. Because what we have in the previous version, if you come over, to where we have modifiers we have this remesh option and this remesh option is good but it doesn't make so much sense it doesn't actually fly that much so they've gone ahead to actually make a remesh so if i come over to this section where you get to see the properties you're going to notice we have two different kinds of options now the first one is voxel voxel simply means uh you're going to make use of volumes to go through the entire object and it's going to create more like a volume and create a cage over that volume and use that volume as some sort of parameter to you know do the whole thing in. so that actually works depending on the situation you're working in i would actually suggest you to make use of this one if you want to play with things that have to do with organic objects and sculpts that would make a lot of sense because what you can get is first things first it's going to convert the entire object as a volume which is first thing so let's go ahead and try that out so you guys can see first things i need to do as well is to actually make a copy of this and keep it here so everybody can see that and you can choose the density that you want this volume size or the voxel size deals with the size of the voxels that you want to see you're going to understand that in just a minute so i'm just going to hit the voxel and you can see what we have if i go back one bit so let's just undo that and set this to about 0 0.05 and do this one more time it's going to take way more time but we're getting smaller voxels this is incredible if you are working let's say if you're sculpting and you just want to get things done real quick um i think this is going to be nice this would do you a lot of good for me i kind of think this uh does some really cool stuff that i would like to see if there is a combination between this and the quad i'll explain that as well so if i simply just rotate around here you can see we have a lot of quads but then you can also see that we're having some of this joint thingy happening here and there which doesn't really look so sexy but it's nice i mean we like it and it's cool so with this happening here let's go over and take a look at what it's looked like or what it looks like if you're trying to do the quad remesh now for the quad remesh so quad remesh is quite cool so if i go ahead and select this and switch over here to the quad and simply hit quad remesh and you know just say okay to that it's going to go through and do the quad flow remesh that exists with this new version of blender that is coming out so the quad flow remesh is it is really really nice to me i think it is one of like the best things that has actually happened in the history of remeshing when you're working with blender the reason why i kind of love this other one is if you look at it properly you're going to definitely see how the flow goes right you can see how the flow goes but then of course it doesn't really match what we're looking for so you can look at how the flow goes it looks more like this meanwhile on this other one we have a much more preserved flow but then we don't really get the remeshing the way we want so if you're trying to recreate something then of course you can go ahead and use this for me i guess this is really nice if you're trying to create some very you know cool awesome stuff but then we don't really get all of that stuff and one other thing that i kind of noticed that this does better than this is if we decide to switch over let's say we jump into the modeling mode right now and i switch over to faces and i choose to you know i want to select this face and i come over here and choose i uh, select the linked faces you still see we have all of these things as individual piece i don't know depending on what you're working for this could be a pro this could be a con but then if you're selecting something like this from this other one so let me just go ahead and select this you can literally see that you're selecting the entire thingy the same thing that you have here is also applicable if you're working with houdini and yes if you guys want me to show a comparison between these two tell me about that in the comment section there is also another video coming up that has to do with the comparison of you know the remesh the quad remesh that exists here and one other video that we talked about that has to do with remeshing directly in blender so keep an eye open to check out which of these remeshers win i'd like to know what you think about this and if you like this video you know what to do go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to turn on notification and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you you know want to see more blender stuff 
and you want to see more updates more reviews and you know check things that you probably like to see out and until i see you guys again with a tutorial updates free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this